All right, so today we're doing something a little bit different. I know most of you don't have ankle tubing, which looks like this, that has like cuffs in it that you put around your ankles. And so we're gonna use a band. The only reason I showed you that is because you need to know what you're gonna make because we're gonna do some band origami here. So we're basically trying to make two loops that your ankles can fit in that end up about a foot apart. So if you take and just make one loop, tie a knot, make it so that it's big enough you can put your ankle in there. And then about a foot away from there, make another loop and put your other foot in there. I mean, big enough your other ankle will fit in there. You know what I'm saying. If you don't wanna use the band, of course you don't have to, but you should end up with something weird looking like this where there's two loops that your ankles can fit in. Da -da. Yeah, perfect. Okay, so we're gonna put our ankles in this contraption here. We always can adjust or loosen it if it feels like it's too tight. And then we're gonna use the band to give us a little bit more lower body resistance through the exercises. Ideally, we'd keep the band on for all the exercises. So we'll see how it goes. It depends on how much resistance your band has, how impossible or possible that will be. So we'll see. So let's just start laying on our backs and bring your hands behind your head and let your elbows open wide to the floor. And then take your feet as wide apart as the band will allow and just let your pelvis find the center, nod your chin, flex your upper body up and look through the legs and then lower your head back down. Do that a couple of times. So flex your upper body up and then lengthen and lower back down and flex up looking through your legs and lengthening down and then start to go up and across towards the opposite leg. So you're sliding rib towards the opposite hip. You're using the shoulder on one side to kind of push down and fold over the other side, up and across, and up and across. And as you do this a few more times, each time you lower down, try to feel like you're working as you lower down as well. So you're not just letting the ribs just pop up towards the ceiling, you're sliding them down even as you lower down. And then take your head down, take your arms overhead, reach your fingertips as far away from you as you can, round your pelvis under, roll your hips up into a hip roll bridge, shoulder bridge, inhale at the top, press your hips up a little further and then roll down sequentially through the spine, trying to lower yourself all the way down and do that again, tipping towards your belly button, roll your hips up, open across the front of the hips, reach the fingertips away from the knees as you roll back down through your spine. And again, rolling up, inhale at the top, and then exhale, rolling all the way back down and return the pelvis back. Circle the arms around, flex your upper body up and lift one leg towards tabletop. It's kind of a wide tabletop. And then as you reach your arms overhead, set your head down, circle around, lift up. It's okay if there's not a lot of tension on the band when you lift your leg. There should be some, but not the hardest thing yet. Lift and lower down and lift up and lower down. Couple more times, just getting the legs moving a little bit. And one more. Reach the arms overhead, sneak your feet further away from you, circle your arms around and go into your full roll up. So you roll all the way up over your legs and roll all the way back down, reaching the arms out overhead, circle the arms around, nod your chin, peel up through the spine, just getting the back of your legs moving. If you'd like to straighten your legs here and do a little bounce 
over your legs, you can. You can either keep them straight to roll down or bend them. For some of us being straight legs will make it easier. For others, it'll make it harder. You decide. I still want nice articulation. So for me personally, if I have my legs straight the whole time, I just don't get as much articulation through my spine. And it's a little easier for my abdominals. So I tend to like to have them bent as I'm rolling up and rolling down. One more time. Rolling up the center of the spine, little pulse, pulse and then roll back down. Roll over onto your hands and knees, hands under your shoulders, knees under your hips, find neutral, and reach one leg out behind you. You can keep your toes on the floor and just slide back and forward a few times. You'll feel the engagement into the band, back and forward, and then hover that leg up, keep the height of the leg, and slide back and forward. Most of the exercises we are doing today, you've done before in one way or another, and we're doing it with the tubing to intensify it a little bit. And then bring that leg in, reach the other leg out, back and forward a few times, trying to find a deep crease in the Hip joint as you go back, straighten that knee, float the leg off the floor. If you find that it's too easy, again, it depends on how heavy your band is, but if it's too easy, um, you can always make the band, the loops of the band closer together, or you could tie the two loose ends together, which would give you more resistance. Yeah. Working with the band is different than working with weights because the resistance increases the further you stretch the band, whereas a weight is always the same weight. So just a different feeling. Bring that leg back down, slide the other leg back out again, find the leg hip height, rotate the pelvis open to the side, square the pelvis back off to the floor. Rotate open, square back off. So you're trying to rotate your pelvis without your whole leg sweeping across the midline of your body. So your leg stays on its own side. It's not going further behind you or across your body. If you wanna add a little rock back and forward as you square off. And rock back and square the pelvis and rotate the pelvis, square the pelvis, rotate the pelvis. Yeah, like Bobby, you made yours heavier by tying the two loose ends of the band together. And that's totally fine if that's on purpose. If it gets too hard, that's why. <laughs> okay, good. And four, three, two, and last one. Square your pelvis back off. Bend your leg, pulling your heel towards your tail and press your leg back out. Bend in. And reach out and push, pull. As you bend your leg, try not to drop the height of the knee so the leg is staying still in space as you pull and push. As it gets tiring, try not to sink through your upper body. Keep that push of the floor away. Pull, press, and pull, press. Lift your thigh up a little higher. Four, three, good two, and last one. And then bring that leg back in, slide the other leg out, lift it up, rotate the pelvis towards the side, square your pelvis off to the floor, rotate to the side, square it off. Add your little rock if you did on the other side, so you rock back as you rotate, square it off forward. Rock and rock and rock. And rock, try to engage into the band the whole time. Lifting your leg as high as it can manage. You can manage it. Rock and forward. And rock 
and pelvis square and try to keep that pelvis moving. And three more. Two. And last one. Square your pelvis back off. Bend your leg and press your leg out. Try to get your hips as level as you can. Flex your foot so you're pulling your heel in towards your tail. If you need to tuck the other toes under to hold the band down, you can. Pull and press and pull and press. Four more. Last one. And then bring your legs back in. Just do a little swing of your hips one way and then the other is kind of releasing the hips. Swing and swing. And then we're gonna come back to laying on our backs. Bring your hands behind your head. And let's start with um, the leg closer to the camera out long. And so we're just gonna start flexing up pulling the leg into tabletop. You should engage into the resistance of the band and press up, flex up, reach out, up, reach out. Good. And two more, slide ribs to hips, press the leg away from you. You've got this pull of the band, so make sure the leg isn't going all zigzaggy, that it's a nice, even, parallel line. Stay in once you get there. Extend your leg towards straight, bend it in. Extend, so again, leave your thigh where it is as you straighten and bend. If it's sliding down your leg, then your cuff is just not small enough to keep it. And then keep the leg straight, lower the leg straight, lift the leg straight. Lower, kick up into the band. Lower, kick up into the band. Flex your upper body up as you push into the band. One more. Bring that leg back down and extend it out on the floor and just leave it there for a second. So then we're gonna rotate our upper body towards the leg that's extended out long and then center back off. Uh, you can keep this other leg bent and foot on the floor. Um, as we progress, I'll give you some other options for it. So now as you come up and across, you're gonna do that straight leg kick and lower down, up and across and center, up and across and center. If you want this to be a little harder, lift the other leg up, hold it there. And now you're gonna feel the resistance as the leg goes down. So you rotate towards the leg in the air, center down, rotate. And four more. And last one, bring both legs up into the air, push out until you meet the resistance of your band, stay flexed up in the center. And then like you're going around the edges of a hula hoop, like circle around, keeping the tension on the band the whole time. Circle the legs, push into the band, circle the legs, push into the band. Uh, I like it, Lee, I like your, um, individual circles, but think if you had a ball, a big stability ball between your legs and one went one way around the ball and the other went the other way. Yeah, it's just a little different. And four, three, kind of windmill action, two, and one, bend your legs, set your feet back down, whatever you need to do, and then we'll do the other side. So the other leg, the one further come from the camera is gonna start extended out long. Plant the other foot as you come up in the center, 
pull the leg in, push the leg away. You can go all the way down to the floor or you can keep the leg hovering in the air, whatever feels better to your body. Slide your upper body towards your leg and trying to feel that softening of the rib cage in and down. And then hold the leg in, extend and bend the leg, extend and bend. Trying to keep your thigh still in space so that you're using your quad to kick into the band. Good, nice Anne. And then keep that leg straight, lower the straight leg, lift the straight leg and rotate towards that side. Lower, lift. Again, your leg can go all the way to the floor or as far as it feels comfortable to your body. If you want to add to that, you can lift the other leg up You'd rotate toward the leg when they're both up and then you'd push down into the band. Different feeling. Or keep your foot on the floor and just focus on that straight leg kicking up. Two more. Last one. Bring both legs up, center your body off, push into the band and rotate and rotate big wide position circling around pushing into the band and four three two and one bend your legs in give your legs a little rock from side to side and then we're going to roll onto the side either side. And once you're laying on your side, you can lay all the way down or prop yourself up. Bend your leg into tabletop, extend your leg forward, bend it in and extend the leg back. You should have some resistance through the band, especially here in front. So if you don't, then you probably just have too much space between the two ankles and you need to bring them a little closer. If all of this band stuff is not working for you, then get rid of the band, still work. Yeah. Bend in, extend, bend in, lengthen back, bend in. Try if you can to not sink into that bottom side. So like you're getting picked up by the side of the waist. If it bothers your neck at all, use your top arm to kind of support your head. And then take this into a sweeping motion. Bend in, sweeping back. Bend in, sweeping back, four more. Good. And last one. And then again, you can lay down at any point you want. You're gonna reach your top leg forward and you're gonna make circles faster than I'm doing right now, back and then concentric circles to go forward. So circling two, three, four, about four to six to go back and about four to six to go forward. Five and six and circle two, three, four, five, six. If you need more tension, bend the leg underneath you more. And circle two, three, five, six, and circle. One more set going in each direction. And kind of torture, sorry. And, and then bend your leg, lay all the way down on your side. Take your top arm forward, up and overhead, big clocky motion of the arm, let your chest rotate to the floor as you reach past the other hand. Let your chest rotate to the ceiling as you reach back. 
One more time this direction. Big sweepy motion. And then reverse. Big sweepy motion around. And then lay all the way down on your side and press your top leg underneath you and just do a kind of oval shape, vertical oval into the band. Oval up and up and up. Keep your knee really straight and reverse. Good. And then lowering the leg back down. You can tap if you need to. Tap, 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 tap. And then let's switch to the other side. Start propped up on your forearm if you did that on the first side. And bend your leg in, extend the leg forward, bend in, kick it back. Bend in. Extend forward, bend it in, kick back. Yeah, and as you do this, the body's gonna wanna tip, the upper body will wanna tip open to the ceiling as your leg goes forward and forward and towards the floor as you go back. Try to keep the body where it is and just move the leg. Nothing wrong with letting the body respond to it, but I want you to be able to do both have stillness and have movement. Internally, there's a kind of spiraling happening through the upper body for sure. And two more, bend in, kick forward, bend in, reach back, bend in, kick forward. And then bend the leg, reach the leg forward, big sweep. And sweep, holding the height of the leg, you should feel the tension on the band, even if the tension goes a little more slack as you bend through, should feel like the whole sweeping motion, you've got tension. Nice. Awesome, Natalia. Weights and a band, amazing. I secretly saw you, Natalia, sprinting up a giant hill. I was super impressed. <laughs> and I was like barely able to breathe on my bike trying to get up the hill and you're like, Phew! very impressive. One more time. And then reach your leg forward, concentric circles back and around and then forward and around. And circling. And circling. We'll do one more in each direction. And then you can bend your legs in, take your arms forward, reach your top arm overhead, big circle around, open your chest to the ceiling, let your chest rotate to the floor, stretch your fingertips as far away from each other as possible. And reverse, big sweep. And last one. And then bring your arm underneath you, extend your top leg out long and ovals, vertical ovals pressing into the band, trying to find that kind of carving out through the back of the hip. Nice. 
try to keep your toes from turning up towards the ceiling because it makes it easier and reverse. And last one, and bend your leg in, give it a couple taps, and then you're gonna roll onto your back. Hands are gonna come behind the head. You're gonna lift one leg up to tabletop and then the other, flex your upper body up and go into your single leg stretch, but kick down into the band. Down and down and down. And four, three, two, whichever leg is closer to the camera, you're gonna leave that one straight, lower it all the way down to the floor. You can set your head down. You're gonna deepen your imprint to try to curl both legs a little bit away from the floor and lower them back down. You're not trying to lift your leg, you're trying to deepen your imprint to move the pelvis to lift the legs. Yeah, exactly. And a couple more times. And one more time. Keep the legs up in the air. Extend the top leg and it'll move the bottom leg. As you extend the top leg, let it pick up the bottom leg a little. And last one, keep both legs straight, push into the band switch. Two, three, four, just two more. And last one, bend both legs in and let your legs rest a second. And we're gonna do the other side. So we're gonna start with a tabletop position, hands behind the head, imprint, and single leg stretch kick into the band. Two. Six, five, four, three. Whichever leg is the leg further from the camera, it's gonna stay straight and lower down to the floor. And then you're gonna deepen your imprint, lift your head to lift versus lifting your leg. So imprint more to curl the legs away from the floor. Imprint more. Good, and three more, awesome. And, and print more, and one last time, you're gonna keep the legs in the air and extend the top leg, it's fine if it picks up the bottom leg. Use that top leg to have to lift the weight of the bottom leg. The heavier your band, the easier that will make, that will be to have happen, but either way. And last two, and last one. Keep the legs straight, push into the band, scissor, scissor, scissor. And last one, bend both legs in and shake it out. Set your feet down, roll over onto your stomach. Separate your legs enough that you feel a little bit of the tensioning of the band. Turn your legs out. Go into your swan dive prep. So. Hands by the shoulders, push into the band, reach out through the top of the head, start to lengthen yourself up. So we're kind of lengthening the abdominals, but they're still working. And then feel like you get longer as you pull yourself forward and lower yourself back down. And get longer through the spine, lift yourself up into extension, keep tensioning in the band. If you feel the tension of the band, the connection of the back of the leg should help you to get the pelvis to roll under so that you can come up a little higher. And reach into the band. If you wanna take this into a slow rock, you can let the legs lift a little and then lift the head. If you wanna do a quicker rock, a rock and catch, you can rock and then catch, sweep your, sweep your arms forward. You're trying to stay in that bowed shape. So once you get up, you're trying to stay in this shape, 
you quickly, I can't do it in slow motion, but you quickly take your arms out and reach them forward with the palms up, and then you catch yourself in that curl. What tends to happen is everybody face plants and then puts their hands down and pushes back up. You're trying to keep the back of your head back so you stay in the extension. Use your exhale to help you. Yeah, awesome, Amy. Good. And then when you're done with that, lower all the way back down. And then push into the band still. Put your forehead on your hands. Keep the push into the band. Reach out and up in through one leg. So one leg is floating away from the ground. And then lower that back down. So single leg extension. Reach the other leg out and up. Keep both sides of the pelvis down. Then lift both legs if you like, but don't sink into your lower back. So you're still feeling really long through the low spine. The pubic bone stays down, lengthening through the curves of the spine, pushing into the band the whole time. And then if you'd like to add your upper body, reach the arms overhead and you can go into a float of the entire body or you could just do opposite arm as leg, trying to smoothly engage into the resistance of the band. If you're doing both arms and legs, you'd float everything off the floor and then try to sweep the arm and leg, opposite arm and leg a little bit higher in opposition. Good. Depends on how heavy your band is, but Hopefully you feel a little bit of tension through the back of the leg. You can push the legs as wide as they need to be to get some tension. And just a couple more moments here. And last one in each side or last moment. And then lower all the way back down, bend your legs and see if you can grab a hold of the band that's between your legs and grab as much of the band as you can. Let the knees be a little bit apart. You're gonna push into the band, roll your shoulders open and try to let the band help to lift you up into a little bit of extension and then lower down. If you're pretty flexible, you might have to hold inside the ankle cuff that you've created. Roll the shoulders open. You're kicking into the band, opening the chest, and lowering down. So you're trying to get the legs to push into the band to pull your upper body up. And one more time. And then lower back down. You can put your hands under your shoulders, bring yourself into a shell stretch, rounding your back. Take a couple breaths. Good. And then from here, we're gonna we're going to come back onto our hands and knees. Reach one leg out behind you and reach the opposite arm out. And then float that arm and leg up. Flex your foot and small circles. Don't let it pick up the foot off the floor. So if you need to put your hand down, you can, but just circle the leg behind you trying to not let that standing foot move around on you. Plant it. And reverse your circles. Trying to stay level through the back. And then bring that arm and leg in. Reach the other arm and leg out. Lift up, flex the foot, circling. And reverse. And then bringing that arm and leg back in. We're gonna to turn to the side, bring your hands to your forehead. You can do this laying on the, your side too, if you prefer. Tip over to one side, lift the other leg out into the band, side kick. Two kicks forward, one sweep back. Forward, forward, and back. Trying to keep that height of the leg the same. You can reach up to the ceiling if that helps you to not sink into the shoulders, nice and wide. 
Two kicks forward, one back, last two. And last one. And then bring your leg in and dip to the other side. And two kicks forward, one sweep back, try to keep your torso still. And back and forward, back. And two more. And last one. And then bring yourself back up to kneeling. Good, I'm just turning sideways so you can see. But you're gonna reach one hand to the lower back, to the back of the thigh. I'm gonna reach the other arm up and you're just gonna think of your hips bowing forward. So you're using that hand on the back of the thigh to help support you and then come all the way back up. The other hand goes down the leg. You lift up and back and come back up. Beautiful, do that a couple times. Figure out how far is reasonable. There's gotta be equal amounts of lift. You're not just leaning back. The pelvis has to go forward in order to have that happen. And you wanna think of like your heart is getting lifted up as the pelvis is going forward, so you make that big extension. And one more time, finish up even on both sides. Lift up and back, and then round your back, sit back onto your heels like shell stretch. Child's pose, whatever feels good. And then from your hands and knees, it's a little hard to get into the position at first, but then it'll make more sense. You're gonna step one foot forward and then you might have to give it a little assistance to get it further forward so that your back knee is open. So I'm like crawling my toes further forward. Yeah, and then you're gonna let the back leg bend and press a little. The assistance of the band should feel like it helps you to open your quad. It doesn't really work if your pelvis is directly over your knee you've got to be able to get that front leg far enough forward to make it happen. Some people love this, other people hate it completely. If you're a hater, <laughs> it's a valid feeling and you can just take the band off for a second and do this instead without the band. One more time. And then just shift your weight back, slide that foot out of there and the other foot comes forward and then you can Hoist it a little extra or crawl your toes forward more. And then letting the quad bend. Should feel like you're able to get a lot bigger, deeper stretch because you have something helping you to open the quad. Yeah, nice. One more time. And then sit back and gently take your leg out of there. You're gonna sit down and you're gonna reach your legs forward. Take the foot that's closer to the camera, take that out of, well, take both cuffs off actually. Put the one that's further from the camera on the arch of your foot and then the other loop in your hand. So arch and opposite hand, and then reach the other leg forward. If that's uncomfortable, of course you could bend your knee, but you're just gonna start by rotating and doing like a low row, and then add your pushing into your foot, you're letting your leg rotate, and you should be able to meet the resistance a little bit more. It's totally fine if you need to hold up a little higher on your band, and rotate and come back and rotate and come back and rotate. Just a couple more. Add a little pulse to it. Pulse in the rotation. Pulse, pulse, center, pulse, pulse, and pulse. One more time. And then coming back. Switch legs just because this setup is a little odd. So easier to just do it all at once. So putting your foot in the loop, 
Start with your rotation at that low row and then add your leg. You should be able to push into that leg that's in the loop more. It's okay if it moves slightly away from the midline. Rotate, do whatever you want with the other hand. Rotate and rotate and add your pulse. Pulse, pulse, reach and pulse. And pulse. Two more. And last one. And come back to the center and pause. Yeah, that's all we did there. Okay, put whichever foot has the loop on it, just put it all the way on your ankle again and lay all the way down. Put your fingers through the other loop like a prayer position. So your hands are in the loop and the hands are up. Mm -hmm. We're gonna straighten both legs as much as you can towards the ceiling. If this is hitting you in the face, then grab a hold of that too. But take your arms as far overhead as you can and do like a tricep press. So you're bending and straightening. Then press. If you want to add more tension, lower the leg. Yeah, nice. Bobby, you can have your head down. Yeah, so keep the humerus, the upper arm still in space and try to do this from the push of the triceps, biceps. Yeah, all that good stuff. And then cross your ankles over each other. Um, so the one that's free, cross that in front of the one with the band on it. And then grab a hold of the outside of the band loop. And you're gonna pull your arms overhead. You're gonna use that pull to help get you over into a little inversion. You need to shorten your grip on the band, you can. And curl over. Return and press through the arms to pull you over. And press through the arms to pull you over. Two more. And last one. And then switch which ankle has the loop on it. And hands in the prayer position in the band, both legs up to the ceiling. Bend and straighten the elbows overhead. If you want more tension, add to the band by pushing down into the leg. Push down and push down. Good. Let your leg lower to add you a little more resistance to the arms. Last one, cross the other ankle over, grab up onto that loop and pull yourself over. Doesn't matter which ankle is crossed on top. If you need more tension, you can grab higher up on the band, push through the arms to curl yourself over. We've been starting to introduce more inverted positions in class. So this is kind of that beginning of being rolled over with the legs extended overhead. One more time. And then you can lower yourself back down, sit all the way back up. Whoops, I fell over. And then put your other cuff on. So now you have both again, round to the back of the sits bones. Lift one leg up and then the other. And one leg is gonna reach out and you're gonna roll back. And then you're gonna scoop and come back up. Reach into the band, scoop and come back up. If you need to hold your legs, you could do that too. Obviously helps a little bit. Your band has gotten looser, that's okay. But next time you'll tie it a little closer together. Yeah, reach and curl up. And try to use a little uh, extra oomph to get up. So you roll back and then you come up a little quicker. 
slower on the way down, quicker on the way up. Slower on the way down, quicker up. Yeah, nice. And if that doesn't work for you, you could just go into single leg stretch again instead. Last moment here. Um, one more-ish, finish up even on both sides and turn over onto your hands and knees. Okay, so then bring the legs all the way together. The band doesn't have anything to do with this at the moment. Tuck the toes under, hover your knees up in a low hover, feeling strong press of the back of the shoulder blades into the back of the ribs, and then set your knees down. Do that a couple times, leg pull front prep, hover up. And then set it back down. You could keep doing something like this if uh, you don't want to add more challenge to this movement. Otherwise, you're going to come up into like a downward dog kind of pike position. If you look at your band and the band is going to trip you, then you might need to tie those bottom loops together or stick them into the cuff so they're not in your way. So then what we're going to do is we're going to lower our knee down to that leg pull front prep position. And then we're going to pike our butt back up and you can drop your heels and go down a little and lift up. Do that a couple times. Lower towards leg pull front prep, lift, lower, and lift. One more, lower and lift, stay up in that downward dog type shape. Lift one foot, push that leg into the band up to the ceiling, then lower, keep it in the air and kick it up. Keep it in the air, kick it up. Kick it and leave it in the air, press it up. Yeah, and depending on how much band tension we have, bend it to lower, straighten it to kick up. Bend it to lower towards the ground, straighten it to kick up. Bend your standing leg as well. So you're going down the leg pull front prep. Some of you are staying up the whole time. Oops, I'm standing on my band. One more time. Down everything. Kick up. Set that foot down. The other leg lifts. You bend and you lower. Kick up into the band. Bend. Kick up. Bend. And up, let me watch, Then, Yeah, awesome, Anne. Try bending the leg as you lower and straightening it as you kick it up, but let it bend as you bring it under yourself and straighten it to come up. Bend it in and then rest. I think some of you are making it harder, um, which is totally fine. But if you bend in and you don't change the shape of the leg and kick up, I think that's harder. I want you to bend in, bring your knee to your elbow and then kick up and bring the legs away from each other. Try four more on each side. Here we go. Hover up, find that downward dog position. Bend the knee, kick up one, bend in. Kick up two, three, and on the fourth one, you're gonna hold, hold the leg, bend and straighten the knee, like hamstring curl, bend and straighten, bend and straighten, last one, bend and straighten, set that leg down, take a break or go into the next side, down, kick up one, kick up two, kick up three, one more, and then bend and straighten. If you're doing all of this without a band, it's gonna be a lot bigger range of motion. One more, and last one, set your knees down, sit back towards your heels, good. And transfer your weight back to your feet. Roll yourself up to standing. Again, don't trip on the band. And then just step one foot forward into a lunge. 
you should have some resistance here. So if it doesn't feel like any resistance, then we'd need to tie more uh, the two ends together. So from here, hands can be wherever they want. Just bend your back leg and straighten your back leg. Then, and straighten. If that doesn't work, you could lower and lift your heel if there's anything going on with your knee. You don't wanna bend down and up. Should feel like you get that front glute working as you're going down and up, down and up. Three more, three, two, Awesome, and last one. Step forward, other leg goes back. Big lunge, bend the back knee, press it back out. Think of your knees reaching away from each other more than you coming up high and down. So some of you are going up and down with the front leg. So the whole body's moving. Feel like your head stays the same height off the ground you bend the knee and you stretch the knees apart. You can go lower, but try not to go higher than your start position. Go lower and stretch the knees apart. Yeah, last two, it's just different. And last one. And step your foot forward, nod your chin, roll through your spine, roll yourself all the way down to the floor. You're gonna, let your head hang for a second. You can either stay here and just take a breath or you can walk your feet back into a plank and come into your plank position. Hold your plank or do your push-ups. Three sets of three. Down, further, further press up. Down, further, further press up. Last one. Lift your hips, walk your hands towards your feet. Hang your head again. Take a breath. Round yourself back up, dropping the back of the pelvis and lifting yourself up nice and tall. Bend your knees, straighten your knees, push the ground away to float the heels away from the floor. So it's like that feeling of like you have a third eye and that third eye is reaching forward and up. Not that you're just trying to go straight up. So it's not a pop of the ankles, it's like a lengthening. Lengthen down into the floor and up into the ceiling at the same time. One more time, just kind of finding our balance and establishing our posture in the standing position for the day. And then you can lower your heels back down and you're all done. Awesome work, everybody. Thank you so much for coming.